Hi, it's Giselle. I'm back. Uh, today I want to show you my mini crafts. That's what I call them, my mini crafts. It's easy to do, no, not time consuming. Doesn't take up much uh, material. So I want to show you this little envelope that I made. Very easy to do. It's just made of paper and uh, a paper clip. And uh, you can use this uh, as uh, your uh, bookmarker. That's it. That's all it takes. Uh, okay, so what you do is you start with a, a sheet like this. And I suggest that if you go to a party and you're with family and friends that you know very well and uh, you see this lovely uh, wrapping paper that's going in the garbage, uh, ask them if you can have it. They'll be happy to give it to you. And uh, believe me, you'll save a lot of money. So basically, you have a 4x4 four four sheet like this. If you want to make sure that um, it's centered, that it's a square, just fold it in half. And if you see that the ends meet, then you've got your square. Okay. Then you take a little corner, you make a triangle towards the center, make another little triangle. Then you've got this. Okay. Then you pick one side, it doesn't matter which side you pick. Fold it again. All right. Okay. It's almost all done. Almost already. Just uh, make sure that you fold it properly. Okay. You've got this is your top. Okay. At this point, if you want to embellish the uh, the middle, would be a good time. Uh, cut out a maybe two and a half by two and a half paper. Music paper would be nice, you know, it would show. And you use your glue stick. Uh, save your uh, your hot glue for another thing. Okay, glue sticks are very cheap. Okay, then so put a little glue here. Okay, glue it in the middle, okay, center of your envelope, like this, and then you fold your little corners, like this. So, that's it, you know, your envelope is almost done. Now, what you want to do is you want to put a, you want to put glue on the edge here, and make sure that it's on the edge because you don't want to, you know, seal your envelope. Because if you want to put some little messages in there or something, it's not going to, you know, you'll defeat the whole purpose of the envelope. So only glue the edge. Make sure that you only glue the edge. Okay. And, of course, I turned off my glue gun. Okay. Then glue the other edge. Okay. Like this. Make sure that it's on, only at the edge. Seal it. So you've got this. Okay. Then you've got the top. All right. At this point, uh, if you want to do the embellishment here, uh, use one of these little glittery things that you get at the dollar store. See? One of these things are very, take this out of the way, very inexpensive. Okay. And you put a little dab of glue at the top here okay little circle of glue not much and you can use any color that you want press on it make sure that it's fine that it's glued okay so you've got your little embellishment at the top then when you fold it it looks really cute and you can uh, embellish it further by putting, uh, you know, little hearts or uh, what have you. You know, you can go on and on with this. But for now, I'll keep it simple. Okay, now uh, is the part where you're going to put your, your little paper clip. Okay, a little paper clip. There's so many different styles and colors and everything. Uh, you can use the silver ones. You can use the, uh, the plastic ones. Okay, the jumbo ones, the regular ones. So what you do is you make sure that this side is down so that you can put it in a book. Okay. So 
put a little dab of glue here in the center. Make sure that you cover the paper clip. Okay. Like that. And just to secure it further and make it look cute. Uh, I, I uh, keep all my cardboard, as I said. I don't know if I did, but I told you I keep out all, all, a lot of stock. And I punch out circles whenever I have a minute with my one-inch punch. And I have these little circles here all ready to go, you know. So then I put glue around the circle. Make sure you don't glue your fingers because it's... Eee, it hurts. Okay. Okay, so then you've got this, okay? Your little envelope is done. You've got your little music paper that shows. If uh, you see that it comes over the edge, just cut it, trim it. You'll get the idea of the hang of it, and you won't have to do this because it's practice that makes perfect. Or practice that makes better. It's never perfect. Okay, so that's your little envelope. And you can put little words in there, little messages, depending on the occasion. I see that uh, I just have to put a little dab of glue in there just to seal it properly. Okay, and that's it. So just to make sure that your envelope is not stuck, it's not sealed, you know, just play with it a little bit. Okay. And another little dab of glue here. so now it's done you see very cute very inexpensive and you can use it for your scrapbooks you can use it for uh, you know your friends whatever it doesn't matter I mean um, so that's my little envelope okay now I want to show you another little thing that uh, is also very inexpensive these little notepads that I keep in a sealed uh, plastic here are my little notepads. Little notepads, where are you? Here you are. Okay. So there you go. I've made different kinds of little notepads. This one is coffee dyed. Put a little flower on there. Uh, and then I put a ribbon. I punched a, uh, um, a little hole in there. I put a ribbon. And these you can use for journaling, for your scrapbooks, for your friends, uh, for yourself, uh, you know. Uh, put a little magnet if you want at the top and uh, in the behind and put them on your fridge You know you can use all these little scraps little scraps of lace and uh, you know Don't uh, keep everything in a little jar and you'll it'll come in handy See I've made several I keep the images. Um, I also ask my friends if they have um, cards any kind of cards birthday cards uh, christmas cards I, I don't have the heart to throw them out and i ask them and they they give them to me and i cut the, out the the images see this one coffee dyed and i'll show you one this little pad here it's dyed with children's kool-aid can you imagine that children's kool-aid doesn't take uh, much to uh, it's not very expensive to buy children's kool-aid so those are my little notepads, okay? Then I will show you how to do the little storage that I was talking about uh, to store your little things because that's the key, one of the things that you, you need to do. Okay, I keep all these little envelopes, you know, these little zip Ziploc things that you buy. Uh, I don't remember what comes in here. Because when you start cutting your wires and your elastics, they seem to have a life of their own. They just pop all over the place and uh, they're hard to handle so I keep them in here and they they stay secure you know uh, I also use the little little envelopes like these little tiny ones to to save my uh, my elastics uh, my stretch elastics and then put them in a little drawer so and I don't have to hunt for them the other thing that I do too is I um, store my ribbon I have so much ribbon and at first I was uh, you know making little bundles of them and it just wasn't working I was all over the place it was taking up too much room so now I keep my cardboard handy cardboard again and uh, I just basically you know fold it around the cardboard 
and if you want to put an elastic so it doesn't go away but this is a wire one so it won't go anywhere and I put all these uh, side by side in a gym bag and there you go you know I can store hundreds of yards of, of uh, you know ribbon and it uh, you know I'll have it handy so that's it um, that's it for now I just wanted to keep this short I will come back with another tutorial and uh, show you some more uh, more elaborate crafts I don't know if you can see this one but this one is a little uh, mason jar that I made for somebody I'm not sure that you, you can see it anyway uh, I will show you that uh, at a later date because it's more intricate it's little butterflies that I made with uh, nylon stockies okay and then on a stick here and there's another one okay so cute little but it's hard to find this pink pink uh, nylon I guess you have to go to a ballet store or children's uh, places and then I made a little flower little flower that I put on a stick with some little uh, leaves there you go and then the mason jar is filled with that uh, Easter stuffing things and the mason jar is you know I glued on a piece of uh, burlap around it and inserted the flowers inside and and the butterflies and it's so cute I mean the lady that I'm gonna give it to is gonna love it I don't know if you can see it but anyways I, I will show you that in a further uh, tutorial so that's what I've been working on and uh, so take care and uh, have a great time and I will see you soon bye now